Maurice Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Mountaineers have felt the brunt of this losing streak, not only on the field and in film sessions with the coaches, but pretty much everywhere on campus. You fall into a losing streak like this, and it really just takes the energy and drains the air out of the whole place. They need to get something to go right, and it would be very beneficial if that happened early in this game. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. in Morgantown, West Virginia at Mountaineer Field. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. West Virginia has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He'll return it from the six. Virginia's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 38. Boy, this guy really showed some giddy-up getting down the field for a big game. First and 10. Ball on the 38. He's at midfield. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 28. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. From the 23-yard line, second down. And down he goes, around the seven-yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Six, 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 six. Run, 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 run. 
Ray will run it again. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That brings him second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. And he's tackled around the one-yard line. Clark picks up seven yards with that catch. Virginia could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. He's out of bounds around the 30-yard line. That brings us to open seven. Campbell is the punter. Tries to get around the corner. Anderson fields it at the 38. He's pushed out of bounds. The 47-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not Push sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Virginia is up a field goal. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. He's scrambling. And they get the sack. How about the effort of the defense right there? And again, it was the linebacker who was coming in on the blitz. He's done a very good job today of penetrating the line of scrimmage and making plays in the backfield. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 42. They get a one-yard loss on that one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Moore will be the return man. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Brown picks him up six yards with a catch. And he 
He's taken down around the 39-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Cavaliers lead 3-0. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Throw in left. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. at the 26. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Call it a loss of one yard on the ball. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. That'll bring up third and six. Here we go. Green and eight. Green. Nice play to set up first and goal. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. the PAT. So a nine-play, 67-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. Glover, ready to kick. Anderson fields it at the seven. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rifles it right side, incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop at the 41. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 42 yard line. Inside the 49. He's on the run. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. First down. Scrambling around. 
Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down at the 31. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's what I do. 31 to Mike. 10, 9, 9. Motion, 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 motion. Pass, pass. Plenty of time, and now he's on the move. Looks like he's going to run. Diving for extra yardage. He did a good job of recognizing that he was the best option for picking up the first. From the 20-yard line, first down. Catches it, and he's punished. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They bring him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And he is drilled at the one-yard line. That's a team. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and the field goal is good. So we've played two quarters. The Mountaineers lead 7-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half.
Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Taken from the three-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. West Virginia is up one. Barnes gets the call. Sheds that one. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. There's a strike complete. He's down. He lost the ball. Recovered by the defense. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After a the call, the rule on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. West Virginia up a point. He's immediately tackled. Fires right side. Got his tailback. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. It, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it second and two. Here we go. Let's go. Got a man open. Touchdown. the extra point. It was a seven play, 67 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Glover is lined up to kick this one off. Anderson fields it at the 11. And down he goes at the 34 yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's a that brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Right here, right here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier.
brings it out. No, incomplete. Well, that's a big-time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Espinoza awaits the snap. What a collision. Yeah, nothing too impressive on that return. I'm curious to see if this offense can move the ball. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Flips it middle to the running back. He's to the 40. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. West Virginia holds an eight-point advantage. And he's tackled after positive yardage. made around the 43 yard line. That's a great tackle at the 27. From the 27 yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Hot 180. And he's tackled right away. He's on the run. He gets hit out of bounds around the two yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's scrambling, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. defense on their heels and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. resulted in a punt so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here if they're gonna make a comeback in this game it's gonna have to start now this offense has to get rolling takes it up the middle for a nice run Ray gets six yards on the play so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first Here's the tight end, has a first down. Tackle at about the 49. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That'll make it second and seven. Yeah. 
He fights forward to about the 43. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. West Virginia is up by 15. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. First down. From the 35-yard line. First down. Six-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws right, intercepted. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Receiver dropped it incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the thirty five. Him hard at the 43. He makes it to the 45 yard line. It's incomplete, and that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Under pressure, he sails it long. This one will fall incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down at the 48. Campbell is waiting for the snap. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. 
The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's going to go for the home run. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires incomplete, knocked away. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. From the 37-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 32. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Gets it out quickly. And he tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. Screen to the receiver. Nothing doing. The defense gave him little time to make a good decision. So he made a bad one. That's when you just throw the ball out of bounds or take a sack. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Steps up in the pocket. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's in trouble. And down he goes at the 26. Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Fires out to his wideout. Touchdown, Cavs! White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. So the offense is going to go for two. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Barnes picks up a yard on the play. Virginia will take their second time out of the half. From the 40-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 29. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. West Virginia is up seven. 
And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. It's final, a close one to the very end. 21-14, Mountaineer. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.